actually can't believe that this is the first time I've ever done a naked fashion haul because their pieces are incredible. Like I've barely tried any of them on. I've like tried one or two on. But if you like neutrals and you like just like plain, kind of simple pieces that just look stunning, then this is definitely the one for you. <laughs> We're gonna go straight into it, and I'm gonna start us off with this dress, which is literally screaming to me, I need a holiday, take me to Mykonos, take me to Ibiza. Like, when you see this on, you are gonna know why this needs to go away. Um, I'm not usually the kind of person that wears a lot of black, but this dress is just stunning. So it's a midi dress, and it's basically got this like halter neck style with this keyhole detail here. On the model, it just looked beautiful and it is one of those dresses that I can see myself wearing like religiously abroad and um, so hopefully I can do that at some point this year but it is really really stunning okay this is absolutely stunning I am obsessed I love the neckline like I really love this little keyhole section it fits amazingly it's got this really lovely slit that I actually forgot about which I think you know, if you are taking this on holiday, it's going to be really good at keeping you cool because I feel like black's one of those colours that really sucks in the heat on holiday and um, can make you very warm. So, yeah, this is an absolute 10 out of 10 from me. We're on to such a good start. Next up is this gorgeous little cord, which I think, again, is going to be great for if you're going on holiday. But to my pleasant surprise, it's actually fully lined. So I did not think these trousers were going to be lined when I saw them on the website. Um, but they are, which means they're not too see-through. I picked these up in a 32. I don't really know what size I am in naked. I just kind of guesstimated. I think I went, I'm, I did a mixture between 32 and 34. Um, which is like European sizing. I think it's like between a six and an eight. Um, but yeah, these are the trousers. And then this is the little matching shirt, which I love. I've just rolled up the sleeves to just give it a bit more of a casual effect because I did shoot this for Instagram the other day. Um, but I think this is a really lovely cord and it's nice and lightweight. So like I was saying, perfect for a little vacay. I feel like I may have worn this set the other day with nude pants because I have got white pants on today. I mean, they're not that see-through, but you can kind of of see them oh my god I literally feel like so angelic I feel like I'm a singer like a backup singer in the 90s in this outfit um but I love it I've got this little crop roll on this is from ASOS I will link it down below if they still have it but yeah I just really love this outfit the trousers I got in a 32 I probably could have done with a 34 I don't think they had them available um but they do fit okay I just feel like they are quite tight like they're not really doing you know a world of good for my my belly area um but yeah i just think it's a lovely set great for holidays so lightweight and airy and the quality is fabulous like i'm really impressed you'll probably hear me talk about it loads in this video like i'm really impressed by the quality of the naked stuff because yeah it's just better than what i thought it was going to be and the prices are quite similar to like misguided and that and i do think the quality is better in my personal opinion um, but yeah, I really like this little set. So I've heard a lot of things about naked fashion denim, um, in particular like their jeans. I've heard good things, good things about their jeans. So I picked up a pair. These are actually from their petite section. I'm like a five foot three slash four for reference. And these basically look like they're gonna fit perfectly. Um, I picked these up in a 34. I think that's gonna be okay size wise. And the quality looks really good. So I'm actually excited to try these on and this light wash color is just gorgeous. Sorry about me being on tiptoes. I feel like this is the best way to like show off the whole like jeans. I love these. Like I love the fit. The fit is amazing. The length is so good like they literally hit my ankles perfectly and to be fair like on even though I'm on the petite scale I feel like I am on the like like taller bit of the scale I feel like petite goes up to what, like five foot three four sometimes and that's what I am um so I don't know if you're a little bit short you might want to cut off the bottoms slightly but yeah I really love these jeans I feel like they fit nicely around here the color is amazing the fabric is really nice as well. My only thing I would say is that I wish they were a little bit more high-waisted as in like they came up to here, but that's a very personal preference. Like I just prefer my jeans to be like, like so high, it's a bit of a joke. Um, but other than that, I think these are really, really lovely and I would definitely recommend. If you are on the hunt for some jeans that aren't, you know, extortionate, then 
the naked fashion give, give them a go because i feel like you might like them one thing i feel like i don't have enough of is like basic tops um i feel like i always buy them and then i don't really like them enough to like wear them repeatedly um but I have a feeling that these things that I picked up from Naked Fashion, I'll show you a few of them, I'll do them like in a row. Um, I feel like these are the kind of tops that I will wear a lot. So this is the first little vest top. It's slightly cropped and it's in this like cream ribbed fabric. The quality feels amazing and I really like the length of this. Like on the model it's not too cropped, it's like a really lovely top. I think it will look nice with the jeans that I just showed you guys. So that is the first little basic top. My god, this top has a very tight neck curl. Um, not looking forward to taking this off, but it's a really nice top. Like, I feel like it's one of those that, you know, do your makeup whilst wearing it, because otherwise your foundation will get on it. I mean, I did actually get it a bit, can you see? Got a bit there, but it kind of like sits under the boobs, so you can't really tell. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm moaning, because I do actually really like the fit of this top. It looks really great with these jeans, actually. Um, so, yeah, and it fits, it fits well. I feel like I probably could, I mean, this, this does fit okay, but I think, you know, I probably could have gone a size up, maybe I wouldn't struggle so much with the neck hole, but, I mean, the extra small still fits well, um, that's the back of it. Yeah, it's a cute top, it's a really nice basic piece to have, um, I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of this, even if I have to wash it, like, constantly, because of the foundation on the neckline, but, it's fine because I like it and um, it was yeah it's a nice top but it'd be good to like see how well they wash because I've never really washed naked things before so I want to test the quality and I feel like this will be the top to test it with I went a bit rogue for me with this color um, which is ridiculous because it's literally only a sky blue but I have been seeing lots of people pairing this color with like lovely creams and whites and I wore it the other day actually for an Instagram pic with like an all cream linen outfit and it looked so lovely um, so I can say even before I try this on in the next clip that this is such a gorgeous top it's really comfortable it's so soft I literally I just could not recommend this enough I feel like this is one of those tops that's going to work really well with like super high waisted pieces like the shorts that I wore them with the other day were quite high waisted these jeans whilst they are high waisted I don't think they're high waisted enough to tuck them in I mean I probably wouldn't wear these two colors together anyway um but that's just something to bear in mind I mean to be fair even like pulled out it looks quite nice it's a really lovely top like it's a nice easy basic it's going to last you years hopefully quality wise but even the design of it will never really go out of style um so yeah I do really like it I just feel like probably wouldn't wear it with these particular jeans so I also picked up the same top in this little white colour I feel like, I've not tried this one on, but I feel like it's literally going to fit the same as the blue one. Um, but yeah, I just, I really love it. I feel like this is one of those colours that I'll probably get a bit more use out of than the blue. So I'm glad that I have it in this colour as well. So the fit is obviously exactly the same as the blue top. I probably will get more use out of this. I think the this, like this blue and this white, like, or creamy white, they go together really nicely. Um, but yeah, like if you are on the hunt for tops like this, then definitely have a look at the naked ones because I do, I do really like them. I wish they were a bit longer, but that's just a personal preference. Okay, I am really excited to try on this next piece because I don't actually own anything like this in my wardrobe. So it's this little like crepe kind of style. Is it crepe or crepe? I think it's crepe, isn't it, the fabric? Um, it's like this maxi dress. I don't know if this is going to be too long for me because I am quite short. But it's just beautiful. It's in this lovely stone colour. It looks really expensive. It's fully lined. Like, the quality of this seems amazing. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to be too short for it because this, honestly, is going to be one of my, like, favourite things in my wardrobe because it's just so beautiful. This dress is something else. Oh my god, it's giving me like this figure that I have never seen on myself. I, di I didn't know my body was capable of like kind of having this hourglass thing going on. I know it's not a real hourglass, but like for me, you know, it's, like it's, it is for me. Um, but I just think it's stunning. Like the back is beautiful. It feels really like weighty, but not heavy. Like it just feels really expensive on. I absolutely love this i've got nowhere to wear it right now so i need to find something to do where i can wear this but when i do 
it's gonna be a moment. I I can't wait. Next up are these really nice cream trousers, but just don't look too close because I did wear these out the other day and I didn't have time to wash them before this video. So they've somehow got like these yellow stains on them. Um, I think it might be McDonald's curry sauce. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, kind of gross, but they will be washed as soon as I try them on for this video. Um, but they fit really nicely. They're just like a really nice tailored trouser. Um, and they've also got like this slit on the hem, which I think is lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this like yellow stuff comes out of it because, I mean, yeah. Mm, it does look quite, it's quite yellow. So yeah, like I said, don't look too close in the next clip. Here they are in all their glory. We had a good night out, didn't we, the other night? Don't really remember what happened, but the trousers served me well. So there we go. I really love these. My one thing I would say is that the pockets are a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's just something that I noticed when I was getting ready, but I like literally nitpick myself when I get ready. I'm like, mm, not sure I like that. Let's play, like, let's piece that with that. Um, but I don't know if you can see them on the camera. I can't really tell in the viewfinder. But other than that, they are just really lovely trousers. The fit is amazing. They feel nice on. Um, they're not like too tight. They're not uncomfortable in any way. Um, and with a pair of heels with like the split hem, they look gorgeous. This next item you are going to see a whole lot of over Instagram and TikTok and probably on my vlog as well. It's this cream denim jacket. And I honestly have been searching for so long for the perfect cream denim jacket. They're just impossible. You either get like white or it's like a beige stone colour which is not what I want. I wanted a cream and when I saw this on the Naked website I was like mm-hmm yes basket now I need you. Um, I haven't actually taken the label out but I have worn it a couple of times. I always do this. I always forget to take labels out of my jackets but this oh my god is absolutely stunning. The fit is amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see in the next clip. Are you not just obsessed with this jacket? Because I'm obsessed with this jacket. I love it. The fit is amazing. The length is like spot on. I genuinely have not loved a denim jacket more. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it's actually not like a hard denim. You know, sometimes and I feel like if you're buying a Levi's jacket or something, it is like a hard denim and like it feels quite rigid. This is like a really nice relaxed one. It's almost like it, maybe it's more like a canvas than a denim actually. But yeah, I think it's lovely. Um, I'll show you the back as well. Like it just fits nicely um so yeah would definitely recommend i love it i'm probably going to try and find one in like this color denim as well because yeah if i like this denim jacket i feel like i'm gonna like some of the other ones on their website as well thought i would show you a little pair of shoes that i picked up i actually didn't realize that naked did shoes um quite a lot of them are sold out in my size i feel like a size six or like a 39 it's just one of those it's one of those sizes that it's, it just sells out like a five and a six I always struggle with on websites but I saw these and I was like these are really different they've kind of got like an Ami I think it's Amina Muadi um you know where it's got that like thicker heel I've absolutely butchered that designer's name I am so sorry um but they give me that kind of vibe um, and they're also in this like really squishy fabric so I have a feeling that these are going to be really comfortable um I fake tanned yesterday I'm not gonna lie I haven't looked at my feet yet so if they look okay I will show you in the next clip if they don't look okay I'll put a picture up here um I never know I, I always butcher the fake tan on my feet as well so yeah anyway these are the shoes they are really really cute so I will get lots and lots of use out of these I don't know if it's a bit soon to be um hauling jumpers but I did pick up this little sweatshirt because it's in quite a nice thin fabric like it's one of those that you know on those colder summer days which we have all the time in England or in the UK in general we just had them a lot so I was like mm, okay I feel like I can get away with a sweatshirt so this says winners naked tennis club and I just really liked it I like this um fabric that they've kind of got embroidered I mean it's not really embroidered is it it's like a pliqued on it almost looks like grass in a weird way i just love it i really like the mix of like the cream and the sage green i think it's lovely all i need to do now is get like a nice cream tennis skirt or, like a sage tennis skirt and this will be one of my favorite outfits because it's just so cute and i love the fact it's a thin fabric so i feel like you know for the spring summer and like early autumn this is probably going to be one of my go-to's this is literally such a cute sweatshirt i am fully in love the fit is amazing like I like the fact that it's got this kind of like 
balloon sleeve going on so where like you know it, it looks like baggy at the bottom i love that style because it's kind of like an oversized fit without it being too oversized i just think it's gorgeous i've tucked it in i'll untuck it so you can see how long it is so yeah it does go quite long i don't think i'd ever wear it like this but you know if you wanted to um but yeah it's just the most perfect fitting sweatshirt i think i might buy a few more like when it gets a bit colder outside not that i'm wishing that on any of us but, you know, I'm excited to try on, like, naked winter pieces because I feel like their summer stuff has been an absolute smash hit. Um, so, yeah, I really like this sweatshirt. I mean, I probably won't be able to wear it, you know, today. Today is a warm day, thank God. But maybe tonight when it gets colder because... I really do love it. So the next item that I picked up is this little ribbed midi dress. I feel like I don't own enough of these, but again, it's like a really great basic piece for layering. It looks good with blazers, trench coats, even that like cream leather jacket, not leather, the denim jacket that I showed you earlier. I feel like that would look nice. Um, so yeah, it's quite a thin fabric. I mean, the quality still is good. I just feel like with this fabric, it's not always the most forgiving, especially when it's like, a bodycon style dress um so we will see in the next clip i just have a bit of a thing like i am one of those people that just puts fat on my belly and it is quite obvious when i wear dresses like this so um, we will see in the next clip because i'm not gonna lie i ate a domino's before doing this video so definitely wasn't the best idea so we'll put it to the test in the next clip so like i was saying the fabric is definitely on like the thinner side um, I think seamless pants are definitely the way to go. Like you can't really see these that much because they are seamless. Um, in terms of like how it fits on here, it's not too bad. Like it's actually not too bad. I feel like I would definitely wear this out maybe with like an oversized blazer or like a shirt. Um, but I actually really love it. I love the colour. The fit is amazing. The length is also really good because like I said, I am quite short. Sure I struggle sometimes with dresses. But this is actually kind of perfect for me so yeah i'm very impressed by this dress and i'm sure you will see me wearing it you know now and then um i'm just happy that i've got one that i'm actually like happy with if that if that makes sense i feel like i said happy a lot then but hopefully you get what i mean this, this is a nice little basic mini dress and i would recommend this is literally like the most perfect little summer top I really really love this so it's in this like very lightweight knit and it is I mean it's literally more like a bralette than a crop top um, but I really love how soft it is like this is genuinely the most like soft feeling fabric I have felt in a really long time and um, I think you can adjust it slightly it's got like this pull string bit so I guess if you want to make it super ruched you can do that I probably will do that not gonna lie i just feel like ruched things always look a little bit better um but i just think it's a it's a, like it's a really cute little sweet top i really struggle to say that then um it's like it's, it's a suit top a cute and sweet top mixed together um right anyway i just think it's really cute i feel like i'm talking too much this is way more clothing than i normally have in a video and i think my brain's going a bit crazy so i'll just try this on now and stop talking <laughs> Isn't this top just so cute? I actually really love it. It is quite a fine like material in terms of like the feel of it. Like it's not see-through, it's just thin. Um, so maybe nipple pads are gonna way gonna be the way to go. And it hasn't got any support at all. This top has no support. Um, actually thinking about it, you could wear like a strapless bra with it. Um, but I really like it. I like the length of it. I have ruched it up slightly. I think it probably will take a little bit more kind of playing around with just because i'm not 100 percent sure i'm happy with the way it's sitting right now but it's a really lovely top it's going to be one of those that's never going to go out of fashion like i can see myself if this lasts for years and years and years i can see myself like having this forever because yeah tops like this they just they never really go out of fashion like i saw my mum wearing tops like this in the 90s I've, i'm sure i've had loads of them like this over the years um so yeah i just think it's really sweet and the color is lovely as well Moving on to another pair of trousers now. These look scarily small and they don't have much stretch in them. And these are a 34. Um, I think they are meant to be tight, I'm not gonna lie. Like they are very kind of tight leg trousers. They've got this like split hem at the bottom as well. They just look great on the model. That's why I got them. Um, but I don't, I don't really know what they're gonna look like on me. I mean, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do them up to be honest. Um, they do have a little zip. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be a bit more stretchy than they look. But yeah, I feel like if these do fit, these are going to be the perfect like night out trousers with like a really cute little top and some heels so you can show off the split hem. Um, so yeah, we will see in the next clip. But I am, I am worried about these. I feel like 
feel like they might not zip up. As predicted, these were a little bit tight to get on. Um, they're not tight like now I'm wearing them, but just like the zip process, you might want to get a friend to help you. Or like you just got to contort your body in like a really weird way, and then you'll get them on, so then you'll be fine. Um, but they are really nice trousers. I feel like there is the slight risk of a camel toe with these, so just be careful. Just make sure you know you've got your friends or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or wh whoever on the lookout for the camel toe because... Yeah, it, is, it, it could happen, um, but they fit really nicely. I feel like they actually give quite a nice, like, slimming illusion, like, lengthening illusion to the legs, which I love. Um, I also really like the split hem. I am thinking I'll probably have to wear, like, heels with these. Not massively high, but maybe just a little bit, maybe, like, four five inches i don't really know what's that like well, i don't know how many inches that is but that's probably all i need just because i don't want the bottoms of them to like scrape on the ground but other than that i actually quite like these and this was like the item i was probably most worried about so i'm glad that i'm glad that, that i actually like them i am happy about that because i could see myself wearing these on like a little night out or brunch or i don't, I don't even know what i don't even know what plans are anymore because i need to book some in <laughs> I feel like this next top is going to be one of those that I wear maybe like towards the end of summer just because it's long sleeved. Although it is quite a thin fabric so I don't know if this is going to be um, a bit sheer. I will obviously let you know um, but I just think it was one of those that looked really lovely on the model. It didn't look see through on the model but yeah now that I have it in person it is looking a little bit sheer I'm not going to lie. This is literally like the biggest Pinterest top. Like when I looked at myself in the mirror before trying it on, I was like, this is honestly what I see all over like Pinterest and TikTok. Um, and you know what I was saying before, I'd wear it like in the autumn. I don't think I would because it's a lot more cropped than I thought it was gonna be, which I love. I think it is gorgeous. Um, definitely on the sheerer side, maybe you just wear it with like nipple pads or to be honest, like if you don't care about freeing the nip, I don't, I don't really care. Um, let's just do it girls. So yeah, I, you know what? I actually really like this top. I feel like it's one of my favourite ones I've tried on and I wasn't that sure on this. So yeah, I am very surprised by this. I actually really like it. I might wear it out tonight to be honest. Yeah, I might do it. It's sunny. So, you know, I've got, I've got to take my chance to wear a nice summer top when it's sunny outside. I saw this next top on the Naked Fashion, like, Instagram page. There was a girl that was wearing it, and she looked so cool. She was wearing it with, like, a pair of mum shorts, and she looked amazing. So, I bought it, and I'm going to try and style it out the same way. Um, but it's, I think it's a collaboration. It's with Anika Teller. Is that who it is? Anika Teller. I don't really know who that is, I'm not going to lie, but she's got fabulous taste because this is a really lovely little cropped t-shirt. I like the sleeves, they're kind of like a capped sleeve, I think that's the best way of saying it. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really cute, I don't own enough t-shirts, so this is a welcome addition to the wardrobe. Oh, okay, this is really cute, I love how this sits, I'll show you, I'll push my hair back so you can see like the shoulders. This is really cute, like I actually love this. Um, I don't know why brands do this, right? They make the neck holes so small. I've literally, like, when I take this off, I know I'm gonna get foundation on it, which is really annoying because it's literally the first time I've worn it. But, other than that, I mean, it's a really cute little top. It just will go with everything, won't it? Um, I might buy another one like this because it is very rare that I find a fit of a t-shirt that I like. So, I might get it before it sells out because I feel like naked stuff does sell out quite quick from what I've heard. Um, I mean, it does, to be fair. Like, when I did my wardrobe, I ordered a pair of shorts as well and that, sold, that literally sold out, like, as I ordered it, which is a bit annoying. Um, but, yeah, cute top. Cute top, I like it. But... Yeah, just make the neck hole a bit bigger, please, naked, because honestly, my foundation is very, very orange. We're nearly there, guys. We've got two items left. Thank you if you're still watching it at this point. I feel like there was a lot of items to go through today. Um, so this is the penultimate top. It's just like a basic camel coloured ribbed top. Another just great basic like I was talking about earlier. I just don't own enough of them. Um, so this I think, I like the colour of this because I feel like it's one of those that will work well in autumn as it's slightly darker. Um, and I think it will look nice with like blue jeans and black jeans at the same time. So that's that. And it's also slightly longer. It's not like a cropped top. It's more like one that you 
probably like tuck into skirts and jeans which I quite like. This top definitely runs a little bit larger than all the other tops that I've tried on. It's still the extra small, um, but I think I actually probably could have gotten away with an extra, extra small. Um, I mean, to be fair, like once it's tucked in, it fits fine, but I feel like I'd never really wear it untucked, um, just that it is a little bit like baggier. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's lovely. The colour is gorgeous. I really like it with this blue. I mean, this blue is genuinely my favourite blue. It goes with everything. Um, but... Yeah, it's a really cute little top. I would just recommend sizing down in it if you want to have more of like a tight fit. Um, but if you do want something a little bit like, not looser, but like a bit more, with a bit more give, then just get it in your normal size. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, everything else I've tried on has been very true to size. So I'm actually quite impressed for this like to be the only thing I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about, is rare. So I'm, I'm happy about it, really, I am. And then the final top we've got there, guys, the final top is this little ribbed t-shirt, which does actually have ruched sides. So it's, you can wear it as like a crop top or you can wear it a little bit longer. I will ruche these bits up so you can see it in the next clip. This is another one, another top that I saw on their Instagram and I was like, that looks really cute. So I picked it up. Um, this fabric feels really good, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's part of their, it's Eco Vero. So I think it is a sustainable fabric, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be one of those that is going to be good for like the cooler days, the colder days, because it is quite thick, um, which I love and it doesn't look see-through at all. So I have very high hopes for this one. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused with like how this top is meant to kind of sit. So I ruched up the sides. Um, but I think that means obviously you ruched up this section i don't know does that look weird to you guys maybe it's just me maybe i'm just having a complex about it um but yeah it's a really nice top it's quite like it's not tight like it wasn't tight putting my head through the hole the neckline is quite like snug obviously where it sits a little bit higher i mean to me it's not really a problem but if you guys don't like things like sitting here on your neck um then maybe not maybe don't get this one but you know it's not too bad I just probably wouldn't wear it for a really long amount of time because, yeah, I just wish it was sat a little bit lower. I just think where it's a bit tighter, it's like, mmm, don't know, it could, it could potentially get uncomfortable. But other than that, really cute top, nice, like, a basic t-shirt, but it's like a level up, it's like a step up from a basic white tee. So, yeah, I'm impressed. I like it, apart from the neck, which isn't that bad, but I like it as a whole. And that is everything that I picked up from Naked Fashion today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you did down below because this is the first time I've ever done a video with Naked. So if you guys are into it, I'm sure I'll do a few more over the next few months. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.